Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Tran. Congestive heart failure occurs when your heart muscle doesn't pump blood as well as it should. It usually affects those over 65, but for Juan Iniguez, he was diagnosed at just 21 years old. By the time he was 29, Juan needed a heart transplant and more time. A left ventricular assist device or LVAD that was implanted here at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital gave him that time and kept him alive while he waited for his new heart. It's been an emotional journey since Juan and Dr. Richard Keel first met. Juan was diagnosed in 2013 with congestive heart failure at only 21 years old. It just got the best of me and I ended up going to UCSF and UCSF sent me here to uh, Fresno Heart with Dr. Keel and Dr. Keel took over my health care. Dr. Keel is the co-medical director for heart failure at community medical centers. Heart failure is basically it's it's for whatever reason, it's a problem with the heart function, a problem with the structure of the heart, but for whatever reason, the heart can't get the body, the oxygen that it requires. When that process is disrupted, um, people don't get the energy, the oxygen they need, so they start to feel fatigued, tired, short of breath. It releases a bunch of stress hormones. They start to retain fluid. They get a lot of swelling, uh, difficulty breathing, lying flat. Um, and it's really a, a very debilitating disease. Even when Juan was on aggressive medication, his health was getting progressively worse. Really short of breath, I could literally, right before my Alvet surgery, I remember I could only walk maybe a distance of five to 10 feet. Juan needed a heart transplant, but wait times for a suitable donor can be up to a year, and nationally, about 300 people a year die while waiting for a heart transplant. This transplant's a very finite resource in the United States. There's about um, anywhere between three and 4,000 transplants performed per year, uh, and there's probably at any given time 80,000 people who would qualify just based on the severity of their heart failure. While Juan waited for a suitable donor, Dr. Keel explains his next plan of action. After, you know, sort of careful discussion with you know with the folks uh, back at UCSF main campus as well as our team here we decided that using the left ventricular assist device as sort of a bridge um, to get him to the point where he would be capable of, of really you know succeeding with transplant was was uh, decided upon. Left ventricular assist device is also known as LVAD. They're often called a bridge to transplant. The LVAD is pretty much uh, a, a implanted pump that's pretty much uh, bypasses the left ventricle and pumps your blood from the left side of your heart up to your aorta. Dr. Sham Sidin Kwaja was Juan's surgeon, and he's also the director of the cardiothoracic surgery program at community medical centers. Heart failure is a one of the leading causes of hospitalizations, and uh, advanced heart failure is not found uh, in Central Valley other than with our program here. The congestive heart failure clinic with LVAD placement is the only one of its kind in the Central Valley. The team is composed of uh, heart surgery uh, heart surgeons, uh, which uh, and we work with our heart failure doctors and uh, our LVAD uh, coordinators. Coordination with psychologists, our dietitians, our social worker, and that included uh, having lead LVAD coordinator nurses. And then the physicians uh, partnered up with heart failure doctors and us as surgeons. Juan says the LVAD gave him a second chance at life while he awaited his heart transplant surgery. Dr. Kwaja says he's grateful to have a leading heart program for patients in the valley. It's been recognized by many organizations uh, for its novel approach, for its pioneering approach. This past February, Juan underwent heart transplant surgery in San Francisco. He says the LVAD was the bridge that gave him another chance at life. Without it, he wouldn't be here. They're awesome. They do the job. It's a lot better to get here on here because now you have the family support.